Hey, what's up everyone? How are you doing today? Finally, iOS 18.2 update is just around the corner. And in this video, I'm gonna walk you through everything you need to know, including when it's dropping and all the exciting new features coming your way. Let's dive right in. First up, the most anticipated feature of iOS 18.2 is Genmoji. Take a look at the screen. You'll see this brand new UI where, with the help of AI, you can finally create your own personalized emoji. Forget an emoji, that's old news. With iOS 18 Genmoji, you'll be able to create a fully custom emoji that represents your imagination. Whether you want to send it an iMessage, use it as a reaction, or post it to your social media, it's all right there at your fingertips. How to use Genmoji in iOS 18. You can describe what kind of emoji you want and Genmoji will create it like I type race car driver and bam, it'll generate your very own race car driver emoji. Super cool, right? Plus, you can customize existing emojis too. Finally. If you've ever wanted to tweak an old emoji, make it look exactly how you want, you can do that now with Genmoji. Oh, and you'll also find these Genmojis added directly to your keyboard for quick reactions. So cool. Next up, we've got Apple Image Playground. This is Apple's answer to AI-generated images. You know how Samsung already lets you create custom images? Well, now Apple's catching up with iOS 18.2, and you're gonna love it. You can hop into Apple Notes and from there, use Image Playground to create your own infographics, charts, diagrams, or whatever you need. It's all right there for you to play around with. Whether you're a student, creative, or professional, this is a game changer for making visuals on the go. All right, this one is huge. Apple intelligence now includes chat GPT integration. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this and it's finally happening. You can now customize any text right inside iOS. Whether you want to rewrite something, create new content, or modify information just like you would with the paid version of ChatGPT, you can do it all right in your iPhone for free. You can check out the screen where it says describe your changes. Just type in whatever you want to modify and ChatGPT will generate a new version for you. This is a total game changer for anyone who loves creating content. And wait, it gets better. ChatGPT is also integrated with Siri. So when you ask Siri something, you'll get an option to use ChatGPT and Siri will return a much more accurate and detailed answer. No more outdated responses. You'll get ChatGPT AI generated answers instead. How cool is that? Now let's talk about another long awaited feature, changing your default browser. Yes, you heard that right. No more being stuck with Safari every time you tap a link. With iOS 18.2, you'll be able to set any third-party browser, whether it's Chrome, Firefox, or Brave as your default browser. Just hit the continue button, select your preferred browser, and you're good to go. For all you Apple Mail users, there's an exciting new UI coming your way. You'll be able to categorize your emails into primary, shopping, updates, marketing, and more, making it way easier to manage your inbox. And Apple's introducing AI priority, so your most important emails will show up at the top. Plus, priority notifications will make sure you never miss an important alert again. These notifications will be color-coded, so you can easily spot what's urgent and what's not. All right, now let's talk about the iOS 18.2 release date. Based on Apple's update history, iOS 15.2, 16.2, and 17.2 were all released around mid-December. So we can expect iOS 18.2 to drop around the same time, probably mid-December. If you're on the beta program though, you'll likely get the update around October 29th or 30th, so keep an eye out for that. So which feature are you most excited about? I gotta say, personally, I'm pumped for Genmoji and ChatGPT integration, but let me know in the comments which feature you're looking forward to the most. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to TechRushi for more updates like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, take care and enjoy your iPhone.